Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Letty Pods. Yes, I'm your host, Leticia. Yes, your favorite girl. And today, this one is it is just we are going to be talking about this one together. I would want your opinion, obviously. So the topic today is love or financial security. Okay um there's this there's this story of an investment banker he yeah he's an investment this guy he's an investment banker he has a big like they've been dating for like three years now and but there's no emotional like there's no emotional attachment between the both of them like the love thing 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 that daughter flies in the belly she doesn't have it anytime she sees him you know what i mean but this guy has always been there for her pays her bills like they they literally travel every vacation like they travel to different countries every vacation he cares about her but there's no spark in the relationship so this babe registers in the gym and then she meets this guy this new guy she meets this new guy in the gym and let's say this guy let's name this guy mr b and the investment banker mr a so mr b is very like he's a sweet talker he knows how to talk to a woman he knows how to he knows how to make a woman have those butterflies in the belly all of that so they get talking and then she finds out that this mr b fills a certain gap that mr a cannot fill and she thinks of leaving mr a for mr b remind you that mr a is the investment banker the one that has been there for her they've been dating for like three years but the only problem in the relationship is that there's no emotional attachment like she's not feeling like she doesn't feel like she's loved even though this guy cares for her but he doesn't give her as much attention as she wants she wants someone that would call her every night and maybe sing to her before she goes to bed she wants someone that will send her that sweet message that would just make her hmm, dream of him in dreamland but mr a is not all about that shit get yeah, just all about getting the bag and just wanting to get a better life for the both of them but he still cares about her because he he obviously meets her needs like he meets her needs, but there's no just emotional chemistry. Okay? Guess me. So, if you were in her shoes, would you leave Mr. A for Mr. B, or you would stay with Mr. A and try to fill the gap that this miss supposed Mr. B is filling, or? Would you just leave the both of them and then start something new like you know what you want just go for what you want eventually mm -hmm. i know you're waiting for my opinion mm -hmm. so here here is my own opinion on this particular issue every girl wants a man every girl today wants a man who has love offer obviously and financial stability of course because uh, love will not buy food though. yes love will not buy food love will not buy you those nice clothes that you want to wear love would not pay for the bills love would not take you to dubai or Bahamas or wherever you want to go love isn't going to take you there the money will but in this situation if I were to be this girl, 
truthfully, yo. Truthfully. I'm a lover girl, yes. I love love. I love love. But I think I'm going to stay with Mr. I'm going to stay with Mr. E. I'm going to try to work things out. Like I'm going to give it a try. We're going to have conversations about this thing. Like we're going to talk about it. Like what's up? Like I'm not like I'm this kind of person. This is what I want. And I feel like this is where you're slacking in this relationship. I feel like if you should do this for me, then things would definitely work out, turn out differently. Like things would work out for us. And if I see that you're trying, you're making efforts, like you're trying, going out of your way, because I know it's something that you're not used to, but you're going out of your way just to make me comfortable to make me happy trust me that's enough like just even trying like making an attempt to make sure that yes i'm happy that's enough good sign for me to be there with you you get i have someone that is giving me all i need like monetary wise there for my needs and all of that and it's not like he's a bad man has been good to me we literally go on trips every vacation and they are saying you want to leave him for another guy you just met like just because this one is talking you into even if i feel like even if you have the money yourself like even if you are comfortable with yourself or you can feel like you're very comfortable and then you want to go ahead with this mr b or you want to dump mr a for mr b because Mr. B is giving you how are you sure those butterflies are going to last forever? How are you sure that he's going to keep making you feel that way? And it's not just because you guys just started talking. And obviously, when you start talking to a guy, oh well, he's going to say a lot of amazing things that is going to make you feel a certain way. So, how are you sure that when you now say you want to get into an actual relationship with this guy? things wouldn't change like since he has the time to shower you do you think that when you guys actually go into a proper relationship he is going to be that devoted to you my disclaimer please this is my own opinion i'm not saying this is what i think and if i were to be that certain lady this is the decision i would make my darling have you ever cried in a rose voice oh that that feeling is different that type of tears is different you you cannot just i don't know how to explain it it's just unexplainable like i cannot see the light and then i choose darkness it's just impossible why will i see light and then i decide to choose darkness or i see enjoyment and i decide to choose so far if you're in my shoes would you not say i'm cost i see enjoyment and i'm going to choose so far so if this guy doesn't even try when you guys even have conversations and then he doesn't even try to he doesn't make an effort to change to make things right then maybe just maybe he's not really really into you as much as you're into him but i feel like you should have a conversation with him first talk to him and be like babe this is not and even before you got into the relationship he must have been behaving like this and you were still there three years three years is not a joke oh. three years is not a joke at all so why do you not want to leave mr a for mr b because Mr. B is giving you more attention. But Mr. A has always been there for you. Like it's not like it's just the attention thing that is not there. And you can talk about it. It's something you can talk about. But this guy is financially stable. What's an investment banker? Excuse you. He's doing well for himself. Ah. Uh, I mean, I want my children to go to the best schools. Yeah. I want my kids to go to the best schools. Yeah. So they can speak properly and then they'll be you know so my advice it still remains 
talk to this guy about this attention thing and then when you see he's making efforts hmm, that'd be so sweet yeah because he obviously wants to make you happy so i'll be waiting for your own opinion in the comment section what do you think about this topic are you going to go with mr a or mr b or you leave the both of them and you go and start a new life somewhere find the guy that has both financial stability and has love to offer as well we're waiting for you we're waiting for your comments in the comment section thank you for watching this video make sure you comment i'm waiting for your comments i am waiting for your comments thank you for watching see you next time i love you guys and i remain your host leticia see you next time bye